Oh, sorry. So we arrive and go up to Lido Deck 10. Our rooms aren't ready yet, but they send us here so we can grab some food, um, walk around the ship, we can go swimming if we want to. Well, everything you see we're experiencing for the first time as a family. Uh, very overwhelmingly cool, to say the least. We are on Little Deck 10 outside from where we just were on the elevator. Many deck chairs, corkscrew slide, swimming pool, hot tub, door right there. Probably didn't really notice it, but that's where he came out from the elevator. That's where you get the towels or a life jacket. Then when you walk up a little bit farther and to the left, there's me like a little party deck, I guess you'd call it, where people are dancing and exercising and jumping to music. And straight ahead is where you're gonna grab some lunch, dinner, or breakfast. This is crazy. Speaking of which, here's the restaurant, one of the restaurants they have on the ship. Um, just walk around and show you the different things they have, buffets. There you can order pizza anytime. You can see we're still in port, waiting to leave. Again, we got on the ship early. You want to get faster to the fun. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but you want to get faster to the fun. It's not that expensive and it's so worth it, trust me. And it's not like this restaurant's open 24 seven, but it's all you can eat buffet and all different types of foods, not just one buffet line, but many different buffet lines, Chinese, Italian, etc. Just watch how much you eat, just be careful on that. So now let's head outside. Now looking down here, I'm not really afraid of heights per se. I'm afraid of falling from heights, but I'm not really afraid of heights. But let's go one level higher. So this was, we were basically on the Lido deck, now we're going to deck 11. Yes, from Wisconsin? Uh, Chicago. Nice, nice, Milwaukee. That's the back. Oh. Yeah, that's the back of the ship. Yep. So you can see here that they have another hot tub, actually a couple little hot tubs there. And looking straight ahead, that's right, you can see basketball going on, nice basketball court. Why they have it inside netting? Uh, yeah, pretty obvious, they're on the ship. Yeah, hello. You see if they shoot basketball the way I shoot, you need the netting so it doesn't fly off the ship. Alright, our rooms are ready. So we are inside an inside stateroom. So we don't have a, a window, uh, a porthole as it would say. So you can see I opened up the closet first, couple of shelves on the right with a nice safe there, closet there on the left, life preservers, enough for the four people in our room. Bathroom to the right there, stand up shower, supplying shampoo. Typical bathroom, medicine cabinet, sink, toilet, towels, Kleenex, toilet paper. Good afternoon, You're announcing to all visitors, please leave the ship as we are about to leave the port. All right, what do we got? Got this desk here to the left, a uh, mirror in front of it. Phone for room service. That's a drop-down bunk, fake window, TV. Another drop-down bunk, 
So the room fits for up to five people, actually. Uh, it's pretty roomy, no pun intended. It's a nice big king-size bed. Now the desk itself has that one drawer there and four other drawers right there. Now let me show you the fake window. Looks like a real window. Curtain moved and yep, nope, it's just a plastic wall. Fail. Oh well. It's actually, think of this room as like a very nice motel room. We met some nice people. There's my lovely wife in the middle, my daughter on the left. A little bit more happening right now, isn't it? So now my son and I are going to be touring the bow of this sh ship, the front of the ship. We're on deck 11 again. Again, the Lido deck was where the pool was. So yes, you have very ginormous chess. We have ping pong tables up here. Excuse us, sorry. Thank you. Now let's head up to deck 12. Yep, they have a beauty salon and spa and a workout area through that way as well. And now let's head up to the top deck, deck 14. Yes, I know we're on deck 12, but now we're heading to deck 14, the top of the ship. So it's 11 laps for one mile, 11 laps for one mile, and the track was pretty soft. What else is up here? Yep, you see it, mini golf. Pretty cool, nine holes. Not the greatest, but what do you expect on the top level of a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean? So yeah, with everything happening that you saw on the ship so far, we still have yet to leave the port. I turned the volume down on this part of the video because I'm screaming for my wife or my daughter to look up. You can see them in the middle of the pool right there, sitting there with their friend. Hey. I tried. Look up, Carly. Up here, Carly. Look up here. Time for the mustard drill. Well, it's about time for the dance party. Ask this little weirdo over here. Yeah, her. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. Catch your breath. Time for dinner with the family. The food was really nice and interesting, especially the appetizers, like this. Yeah, that's an appetizer. I tried swordfish and rabbit. Yep, my daughter got sick here, looking at us. Uh, dinner's over, time to work out, hey? 
my son and my wife working out in front of the ship, looking out. Nice view of the ocean. She's nutty, by the way, working out. She has to work out every day, about five miles a day. Yep, every day. Besides mini golf, what else is there to do on the ship? Let's find out. Was named for the U.S. explorer who found it in China in 1908. <laughs> What color pages? Red. Now you're looking for a line. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. A single line. There's no upside down line, we all know that. But if it's upside down to you, and upside down. Back to blue. For a commercial break, it's Mr. Potato Head. What's new, Andrew? Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head with their own cars and trailers. That's what's new. See, Mr. Potato Head has a car and a goat trailer. And there's a car and shopping trailer for his wife, Mrs. Potato Head. This is fun to do. This is so easy. Yes, my son Robert was chosen. Every time I stepped out of the gym, he was like, Hello, it's me! What's your name? Where are you from? Robert's from Wisconsin. Robert's from Wisconsin! What is your favorite score, boy? Is it 300? Yes, sir! Down here is a box. All right, so the host is explaining the game of Simon. My son's up on stage right now. Check out the boy to his right. Okay, it's your job to remember that sequence, and it is your job to put yourself in that sequence position. Why are you look behind you? What's going on back there? No, here's the sequence there. There, the box there, the sequence there. He's like not listening to me talking. He's like, I'm looking here. I thought you thought it was someone sneaking up behind you or something. Okay. Now, one thing I will tell you is that the sequence is going to get faster and faster, and I'm not going to call them out. It's your job to remember the sequence. You with me? Here we go. First sequence. Blue, red, green, yellow. Blue, red, green, yellow. Blue, red, green, yellow. Blue, red, green, yellow. So as you can see, they're trying to rearrange themselves to line up for those colors. Oh, oh, they got it wrong. Blue team, you got it because they locked in too quickly. They locked in too the red team's quickly. captain kept locking in our team too quickly, and that's why we would lose here and there. Ended up losing the match, but that was uh, that was all right. We had a lot of fun playing. So here the winning team gets to put their card that they chose into this machine and try to beat the other players on their own team to win the ultimate prize. And a little boy over to the left there, JD, is winning, and yet one person left to try to take him out. JD, how old are you? He's 10 years old, Stephanie. You put your card in, you win, you will break this boy's heart. <laughs> JD, she, she goes, it's okay, I'll live with it. <laughs> no, she did actually say, I'll let you win. <laughs> Here we go, race cars going in. Race car is going in. Here we go, 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 come on over here, come on over here. I need you to stand in front of this machine, right? And go like that when the money comes out. Go like that. Here it comes, here it comes. Super innocent kid, won the game. Great for him. My boat. <laughs> My boat. You're pretty. 
Yep, my wife is pretty, and this sunset is pretty amazing.